TV and films this week as it's been so cold and wet but we've still managed to get out for some walks and fresh air. This week is about trust. Trust is really important and there are lots of times we need to trust people. As we can't always know everything or do everything ourselves. <coughs> we need to trust our parents to look after us and keep us safe and provide us home and food. We need to trust our teachers when they're teaching us. We need to trust our country leaders to keep us safe and help us all through this difficult time. And we need to trust all the doctors and nurses to care for us in the hospitals and to look after everyone that's poorly. And the scientists who come up with the vaccines to protect us. We, we have to trust our friends, especially if we're playing adopt me online and we lend them a pet we trust them we trust that they will give them back most importantly we need to trust god that he will look after us and love us in the bible it says trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your understanding we hope you've had a good week bye I like looking in a dictionary to find out more about important words. I found out that trust means having a confidence in the reliability of having of someone or something. Perhaps like trusting that a bridge will hold as we walk over it. Today's story, we meet some men who had a big decision to make whether or not to trust Jesus. Let's hear what the Bible says. Good morning, everyone. It's great to have you kids at home this week. I'm Ben. I'm the rector of St. Leonard's here in Oakley. And, uh, you know, I love looking uh, in the dictionary. When I was growing up, we had an actual proper big fat book on the shelf. These days, you just use Google, right? But I love to find out what important words mean. And the other day, I found that the word trust means having confidence in the reliability of someone or something. Having confidence in the reliability of someone or something. A bit like trusting that a bridge will hold as we walk over it. It's reliable. You can depend on it. It will do what it's supposed to do. Well, in today's story from the Bible, we're going to meet some men who had a big decision to make, whether or not they would trust Jesus. So let's hear what the Bible has to say about trust. Let's open the book to the story of a big catch. Now, this story takes place by a lake and by a boat. Fishing boats were floating. They were floating on the water, bobbing gently up and down, floating by the seaside shore. The crowd was going bigger, growing bigger by the minute, waiting to see Jesus, waiting for his words of wisdom, waiting on the seaside shore. So Jesus came up and he said to Simon, could I borrow your boat, please? Borrow it and float it just a little bit away, away from the seaside shore. Of course, said Simon. I've finished my fishing. I'm done for the day. I'd be happy to help you here on the seaside shore. So Jesus climbed on board. He climbed on board the fishing boat and Simon steered his fishing boat just a little bit away, away from the seaside shore. Then Jesus taught the crowd. He taught them all about God's love floating off the seaside shore. Then, when he had finished, Jesus said to Simon, could we float a little further out 
float and do some fishing in the middle of the sea, far from the seaside shore? But I've been fishing all night, said Simon, and I haven't caught a thing. Not a flipper, not a fin, nothing whatsoever in the middle of the sea, far from the seaside shore. Trust me, Jesus said. Trust me, let's go fishing. So Simon trusted Jesus and pushed his boat out farther, out into the water, the middle of the water, far from the seaside shore. Here's the spot, said Jesus. Drop your nets down here. So Simon trusted Jesus, and Simon dropped his nets. And soon those nets were full, full as could be, full as they'd ever been before, far from the seaside shore. Flipping and flapping, the fish tried to get out, splishing and splashing, they filled up the nets, filled them full to bursting, far from the seaside shore. So Simon called for help, help. He called to James, he called to John, two brothers who were floating, floating out there also, far from the seaside shore. And when he'd filled his boat with fish, and James and John boats too, the boat was on the brink of sinking, and all of them were amazed. So that's when Simon dropped to his knees. Jesus, leave me please. He said, you've been sent by God, but me, I'm just an ordinary man, a man who has not always done the things that God wants. Then follow me, said Jesus, and we will do more fishing by fishing for people, for men and women, bringing them into God's kingdom. So Simon sailed back home. James and John sailed to. Off they went with Jesus. They left their boats behind them. They left them at the seaside shore. Well, that's our story. And these fishermen did something extraordinary, didn't they? Simon showed so much trust. You know, those fishermen, when they walked away from their boats, they walked away from everything that was familiar to them. They didn't know where they would sleep or eat each night. Um, they didn't know it, whether or not they would have enough to put on the table. But remember what we said about trust when I looked at my dictionary. It's confidence in the reliability of something or someone. Did they have confidence? Could they trust that Jesus was reliable? Well, Jesus showed them that he could be trusted. And so they stepped out. They stepped out on that big adventure. They were willing to leave everything behind because they believed in him. Think about how you would have felt if you had your boat, your nets, everything that was normal. Think about the things that Jesus' friends would have had to leave behind. And think about the adventure that was opening up in front of them. Now I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make this prayer your prayer, just say Amen at the end after me. So let's think about all that we've heard, think about this amazing story and this invitation to trust when Jesus calls us. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that we can trust you. Help us when we step out into something new to be as bold as those fishermen were and to depend on you. Amen. Simon showed a great deal of trust, didn't he? Those fishermen were leaving behind everything that was familiar. They didn't know where they would sleep each night or if they would have enough to eat. But remember our definition of trust? Confidence in the reliability of something or someone? Jesus showed them he could be trusted so they stepped out into a big adventure. Christians believe that today we can still trust God to look after us in all aspects of our lives. Now it's time for worship. Good morning church, welcome to the Great House family. Okay, what song are we going to start with then?
Brilliant. Zach, you're going to join in? I'm going to dance. Go! Brilliant, let's go. Let me just say a prayer for us as we head out into the rest of our day, the rest of our week, um, listening for where God might be calling us, learning more and more what it means to trust in Him. May God surround you and keep you. May you hear His voice when He calls you and may you learn to trust Him. 
now and always. Amen. Have an awesome week, everyone. God bless you all. Bye. See you next week.